weird. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in with Enchantress. That is me, the Bobbly. That is me on this evolutionary, revolutionary ride. I mean, I forgot I said this time. That's just weird. I put two cameras. <laughs> I don't know why, but I did. So, self talk. Babble are us to ourselves but either way of course I would be awkward as hell for myself <laughs> lights and stage up in this bitch here we go okay so silly is all I know especially when you know shy is some part of me that still can be you know so the other day I had said I wrote something and that I was meaning to share and when I say the other day it could have been like a month ago you know who knows because <laughs> I have no sense of time in that kind of way all I know is I said I wrote something the other day and that I had plans to share and then I'm like over here like getting it so that I can share it with you all and I just go back to time all this time align you know not any other time align just this one the writer in me is always so um, rigid and not and not like oh gun hold to share the things that I write. I remember like always like if somebody asked me to read something first of all I never did those things but <laughs> like I say a friend, right? Be like, go read me the poem and I would read my poem like super fast. Talk about like super fast like woo like like slow 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 down no this is how we read our 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 personal bones okay this is this is how we do okay because there was no slowing down the tempo too so you know in part of my own like conscious awake and bake right kind of thing um i have slowed that down as uncomfortable as it can be for me to have to like now um share in some kind of way and you know practice it with care um why am i uncomfortable anyways and sharing you know you know but as for every artist out there no matter what um field of artistry you are a part of you know part of sharing one's work that comes from here the passions that we have existing inside that find a creative outlet to go outside of our hive and create this kind of um, beauty to present whether we present it or share it with others in this world um, or whatever you know what we do it's what we do I have to let go of some distractions too, you know? Um, aligning with ourselves is cool. So, um, yeah, it's never easy to um, put yourself out there, you know? Especially when we all deep down in our root because of our conditioning and stuff like that want to be accepted. Like, our generational of humans that occupy this planet all want to be accepted and everyone has a different experience and story to tell in regards to why maybe some part of them doesn't feel that way so you know um i said i was going to share and i kind of said it so that i had to put my money where my mouth is because I'm a goddess of my word and because since I live in that honor code kind of like system that I have to intentionally challenge myself to do something that <laughs> okay some part of me wants to, some part of me don't. <laughs> and so, you know, um, that's why I'm staging up in this place. <laughs> I'm staging myself. 
Either way, whether it's a channeled message or not, a poem or whatever the case may be, it was freestyled free. You know what I mean? Like, when I wrote this, I was feeling this. And then it branched off into another this, of another world, of something else that found its voice through me to channel with pen and paper, keypad, however we write nowadays, <laughs> you know, so, um, yeah, I'm going to share it because I don't want to hear about it no more <laughs> from these voices. From beyond the veil of existence, they keep saying, "Share that." When you plan to share that, when you gonna share that? Go share that. Record, record. <laughs> like, okay. Whatever, and it could just be multiple personalities, huh? Have you ever took that dive so deep to challenge your spirituality and the things you think you see to go past that to then really stand in a test and be like, you know what? I know myself best, and crazy I can be. But this certainly not. There is one too many things happening and occurring here that oh let me get in here child that I see clearly now that I'm like okay okay what can I say I see this way who's gonna tell me that what I see is not what I see and what I know is not what I know oh someone that just wants control and I'm like oh, okay well, girl, you grown. So know your parts. So you know your role. So that you don't go and sell your soul. And live your life in truth, you see. In full alignment. Curly and free. Yeah. That was just very solid right now. <laughs> Everything but really what I wrote. <laughs> 7 12, my mom is here. Okay. All right, all right, whatever. I don't know how I'm gonna read this. I'm gonna really try to read this, like, cause I honestly have not read it back as of yet, fully. I may have read it in parts when I was writing it, or after I wrote it, but then life, you know, we, we go on and do our dues and so for me right now it's gonna be like the first time <laughs> guys this is my first time <laughs> with that in mind with that in mind with that in mind before i do that divine directions okay divine directions divine directions okay <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate every single one of you for tuning in because, you know, that's just the way that it is. In full alignment, we are beautiful by far. Doing the things that are alchemized and true. Teach, woo. Divine directions teach you have a wonderful gift for working with others. For working with others, have you considered teaching? I teach, I do, oh my goodness, I teach my little ones too, my little yoginis, I'm so excited with them, they're so cute, they love me, my friends, um, yeah, okay, there goes that soulmates, oh, that was another video that I was recording just a moment ago, not this video, that it applies, okay, so everything, like I said, everything that I am doing to procrastinate further than to share what I wrote the other day, so, I even have double record because I am like meeting the shy me or the the rebel the, the one that's so resistant to um these kind of shares <laughs> okay hold on wait Hmm. Poetry in emotion. 
explode you. The bomb. Explode. Poetry. Is about expression. Poetry. Is about reflection. Poetry. Is about a language that sometimes. In a way. Is hard to speak. And it finds its words. And seems like a bird. And the. <laughs> I was just saying now you see everything but reading what I wrote. <laughs> 911, somebody call 911. Okay. Every time we meet and we speak, I feel you so inner deep. You see me too. Even when we don't see nor speak to one another, our roots run deep. These feelings we have by truth, even if we can't speak and express these feelings of ours. Most times we live different lives, separated, learning to trust in our collide. We are divine. As we actively leap in faith, we work through these times, understanding there is divine time at play for us. Our time is now. Our time is here. Our conditioning becoming ever more clear. Knowing this won't be easy so we work better. Supportive to ourselves as weather through as we weather through the challenges. Evolving our communication is essential to our growth. Our mind, body, heart and soul. Harmonizing these dynamics are necessary. And even though this way still creates turbulence and some emotional theatrics of drama fueling craze, we acknowledge its creation by us, for us, to evolve in any weather as we rise, we shine dignified our souls reign as we upgrade our dna every time i leave your sight and the physical is separated from this perceived union i purge these cries so deep for some moments after i can't speak and entering this abyss of collective hurts that burst to the surface that asks to be transmuted, we, each in our own corners, find our way to slay the toxic stain that corners us into submission and obedience, feeding to its design of a lie that this be the only way to life and living. You are not alone and neither am I. We feel this way in our now. Emotional becomes my being connecting with yours. And even though you're over there and I am over here, it is revolutionary clear that I have you right here. Our hearts beat, intertwine, in full align with our cosmic design. And supportive in energy we are to one another. Even when we are not together. Our love opens doors. Our commitment to loving awareness. Healing cares. Healing cores within this universal matrix of circuits. Creating timelines that cycle infinite. Beat into our ether wonderland. Wounded warriors, healers crying, releasing the suppression of our oppression and suppression of expression to devotion of emotion that lineages hold back from expression.
our unexplainable emotions felt from a logical standpoint upon meeting only tells us that to be able to evaluate a situation one has experienced from a removed detached perspective and understand that there is so much beneath the surface that we can't see that is ultimate truth and quantum reality. To be able to do these things, we rise. Our feelings for one another run deep like our mysterious oceans and we are the sea. souls speak. Our conditioning would say that if you have a connection with someone in this kind of way, that means you should be together right away. Bed hopping, energy swapping ways that spread unhealthy shades of misaligned all of the time. We know better and we still, we must endure this weather as we uncondition our own views. As we learn, we transmute and realizing that this is so much more than we humans can conceive. We all learning the unlearning to learn what type of seeds of trees we are planting anew. So much worth of work you and I surely do. We still have lots of inner self-healing to go. As we do this, we continue to grow. As the wounds inside of us, our warrior selves learn to let go. Evolution. Stability of mind, body, heart, and soul balancing harmoniously on this 3D plane of perceived existence is haunting and daunting. We are evolutionizing our growth and this aspect of it is no joke because we encounter a lot of pokes that we have learned to be grateful for even if we don't like it. You and I, we do this healing in our own way at the same time. We are partners in crime. Together we climb and shine. Ancient scribes, oracles of light, gifting sight. In love with you I am so much as in love you are with me. As you are and as I am. Our love united, we don't even fight it. We feel united. And because this is so, our love infinitely grows. Expansion, we know. Taking a stand on our stance in command as we are creation that expands in every quantum land of realm. We are existence and we feel this rain. Lovers creating waves, turning pages, creating new stages of life to be born through these light encoded spectrums of creative potentials we are accountable and responsible for creating awakening to every now living life profound welcome to our now cosmic order do you know we are ruling the show the old world way would say that our actions being separated would mean that we are not a team living separated you and me energetic we are a team and we choose this to be even if we are physically not together as the humans are conditioned to see in order to believe in the things unseen and for many others, the idea of separation, of perceived loneliness, a collective fear, pain, stain, may be a bitter pill to swallow and accept. Because in truth, that is what they are raised to perceive and believe in only the physical realm of reality. And due to this conditioned box view, the humans have been raised to know of no other way of living because they look to the external for their validations. 
We know better. We do better. We sow better. We live better. We energize this weather. We know better now. And when we know better, we do better. And that comes with our changes in our behaviors that only come naturally when the truth sets us free. You know what I mean? In love with love, are we? It's part of this human conditioning. Humans desire intimate connections in every physical possible way. So when the reality doesn't match these feelings inside, this is a hurt that surfaces in various ways for everyone in the present state of their own conditioning. Are you listening? Of course you are. We, loving warriors, each in our own lands, find ways to transmute these old world views that truly don't compute with our truth and in tune we most certainly are and we are living in alignment with our emotions. Our emotions have been one of our it's complicated kind of relationships and little did we realize the power we have in our own hands our emotions being our most powerful and strongest of divination ally tools we every day have and are able to use. Whether the humans know this or not, their emotions are constantly non-stop and our master drivers activated and just like a tool they contribute to the makings we create on these shared lands. Entering other vortex kind of lands that they feed, which continue to expand. We each have this tool and we share this in common. Realizing all of this while inhabiting these 3D lands, we now perceive and know our triggers to be alarming indicators within our own physique that speaks as a security system telling us that there is more to explore with this surfacing agent trigger. This trigger is trying to tell us something beneficial and helpful to us. All we need to do is listen some more, revealing the key to our healing mind, body, heart, and soul some more. Welcome to Conscious Evolution. We accomplish high demands on these old world combative lands, learning to always identify triggers as they come and no longer reacting to its stimuli. Mindfulness, loving and living, we are spinning and winning as we learn and grow from this all without taking it so personally. We are beautiful. And it is a privilege to honor life in this way. This awakening state of massive wake and bake that shakes us into our into visiting our inner core, which houses our network station of eternity within our own identity. We are partners that rise and constantly work as a team, finding ways to connect as we do. Our connection most challenging too. But that's what we do. We identify and find healthier ways to approach our challenges in evolutionary ways that help us both gain in our reign. We are wise, loving, strong, and aligned enough to know better and handle better as we gift one another the much needed space required to seed, nurture, and grow as we need to do for our own selves. The beautiful part is our supportive energy in fueling this passion, desire, and love that only keeps on growing. And we are knowing and allowing for these feelings to upsurge as elixirs to every purge. Lovers igniting flames. We are the flame. 
and we are learning intimacy in its purest forms. This love inside may drive us wild in passionate desire and we are both still figuring out the proper attire to wear to this event. Lovers, we are in every quantum way and our love exudes from our truest core as we grow this some more and love each other bright. One of the hardest human pills to swallow is the illusion of needing to be together in the physical to attain this divine union. As within exudes on out and that is what our mastery is all about. This here is a new wave we are cooking up together. Partners in crime that know and wholesomely grow even if we are not physically together. We are energetically one. Divine timing is at play here when it comes to this 3D level spinning sphere of a merry-go-round that for most remain unclear. My dear, we see clearer. Clearest, my dearest. Can you hear this? Of course you can, and that is why this is true. This evolution of love awakening us to our divinity within that is ourselves. I am. You are. We are. One. Making history is what humans are conditioned to document and souls we do as we are told and or sold to believe. The split of our livestock comes from generations of souls asleep, not diving deep, just doing as they're told. The splitting of the human cattle that exist, half of them are stuck in the past life that is no longer, and the other half focused on a future absentee of every today. Both absent either way, <laughs> awaiting on a life that does not exist, past, future, potential. And in the present, both halves asleep while making more creations that are their manifestations that still misalign with their want because their ingredients were influenced by emotions not acknowledged by them, although these emotions are the actual drivers behind every creation being manifest through them. Awareness is kin. It's no wonder the alchemy is all shit. Now is missing from all their mixes. Creations manifested into our shared 3D plane of perceived existence reality, all created by asleep creators living in divided inner kingdoms unaware of themselves. The humans divided. We can't fight war with raw. Here is a spell cast into hell. We shared our own we shade our own worldly creations. Karma a hit worldly sensation believed by most and yet trusted by none. We are in our power now. Breaking bad, we are singing free, peeling back the layers of these illusionary things. We see and now get to know best our role in this whole that is Wonderland and a discovering channel for us all with plenty of space to grow. This rainbow bridge of our spectrums of alignment shrines, partners in rhyme, we are creating fields of land. We expand holding hands, our hearts in partnership. We groom our bloom. Harmonious, we certainly are. Close your eyes, feel me there. We are here together. Whole is this vibration. Our children are the future and as cliche as that may sound, our rainbows are shining proud and do not carry any karmic load from the previous old world history. These rainbows are creative mysteries and gifts to these lands. As we warriors in command of these ships, we celebrate this victory encrypted into our ethers. Infinity is classified information living in rotation and soul is God, God death. The matrix, holo the matrix holographic Vibrations, pulsing, beats from its echoing environment take, takes it all in without any prejudice. The fields create stands through this type of motion absorbed in its own fields. Emotions are always plugged in. It is our current state of every conditioning. When the human awakens to the current molecular beating structure, its vessel greeting its own orb with trust, 
operates now its entire system, separated in truth while seeing its roots that sink and compute. Learning our inner sanctuary that is unveiling its foreign tongue to us is our currency climax of a hit in affection for its lover's erection. We drink the sweet nectar that soul for resonates as every ounce of hidden truth that loosens the noose we no longer actively wear. Immediately, removal of all despair. We clean the air. Tree roots, connections, connecting beneath and in between every cellular, molecular circuit sparking life. Explosive are our dynamites having met to ignite. Lovers united. Transcribe this. <laughs> All right, well, there we go. Seeds. Poetry sows. So now you know. Forgive me. Okay, I was stopping the other recording. Um, yeah. So, that was my poem. <laughs> Thank you for listening. <laughs> Till we meet again. <laughs>